How are you doing? Not good. At all. A Columbus woman now mourning the death of her fiance, David Ford. Police say he was struck and killed by a drunk driver on the city's east side earlier this week. The suspect, Jamico, Florida, ran away from the scene and was later arrested. Tonight, he is facing several charges, including aggravated vehicular homicide. Now, the victim's fiance talked with 10 TV's uh, Carla Rogner today, hoping his story could help end this violent trend. David Ford was with his fiance here on Stelzer Road when their car broke down. That's when police say a driver who they believe was impaired hit their car and threw David into the road. These are our family pictures. That's the Myrtle Beach picture. Painful memories along the wall of the Columbus home Nicole Maynard shared with her fiance David. I don't know, like he's amazing. He was the best thing that ever happened to me. After six years of dating, the two were planning a wedding. Now she's planning a funeral. And he didn't deserve this at all. On Monday night, Nicole was driving her new car with David on Stelzer Road when they broke down on the bridge near Fifth Avenue. They were standing outside the car when authorities say a pickup truck driver slammed into the back of the car, throwing David into the street. 911. What's the address of your emergency? Uh, I was calling to report a pretty gnarly le uh, wreck on James Road at Fifth Avenue. Like I was looking around like where was he, where'd he go? And then when I looked in the middle of the road, I seen his shoes. But he just laid there and he just kept looking at me. Police arrested Jamico, Florida about a half mile away. He's charged with aggravated vehicular homicide. Police say he was drunk. It, it's crazy. He should have never been behind that wheel. Ford leaves behind three children. Nicole believes his death was senseless. I'm going to try to do everything I can to be strong. I know his daughter's is really upset, his sister. Hopefully he gets a lot of time for this. A lot of time. The family tells me they plan to be at any of the suspects' court dates. They hope that hearing David's story will make people think twice before getting behind the wheel when they shouldn't. In Columbus, Carla Rogner, 10TV News.